Hey everybody, this is Nigel Chin. Welcome to another episode of DIY at Her.TV. Today, we will be making ourselves something really girly. We're making ourselves a customizable multi-purpose hanger with lots and lots of pretty ribbons you can see here. And the best part is, it's up to you to choose whatever color you wish. You can see mine's a variety of blue all the way to green and just a bland gray. I didn't choose this. But oh well, let's do it. Step one, arrange your hanger in any position you want as you place your rings in an orderly fashion. Well, it's up to you to actually position your rings into any sort of design that you want. And here's mine, it's like grapes, you see? Once you've gotten a position or a shape that you like, what you wanna do is focus on the um, rings one by one. And my first step is to wrap the rings with pretty, pretty ribbons. Fabulous! Here's how you, you do it. Grab yourself the glue gun and glue each and every bit of the ribbons so that it stays, followed by binding it. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the first ring. I'm gonna wrap it with the ribbon and here's what I do. Just find a position at the ring where it's easily placed. Glue a minor bit of the edge of the ribbon. There we go, just a light tad of glue because the glue gun's really sticky. So once that's done, you place it nice and firm. You wanna wrap it around. Just keep it going around and around and around. And here, the last strap. Cut the edge and just put a minor touch of glue. Like I said, you don't want too much because it's really sticky. Push it real nice and tight and voila! A nice, perfect ring. Now repeat this step with the other remaining rings for the first row. And here's the second ring from the first row. Repeat the same process. Glue one end of the ribbon and push it nice and tight onto the ring with a rotation. Keep it coming, keep it looping over one another. There we go. Wrap it around, down, up. Second ribbon and second ring, done. Wrap it, cover it all the way up, cut the excess bit of ribbon and glue the final strip. And there you go, you have all your different rings ready and prepared. Once that's done, I'm grabbing my grey ribbon this is the one that you use to um, glue each and every one of those rings together. And here's how to do it. Grab yourself two rings and ensure that it's in the position that you want. Like that. From there, you just want to place that strip of grey ribbon. Glue it nicely and wrap those two together. Place it in between and ensure it goes in a nice loop. Now this part is crucial because you want to ensure that it's really, really solid tight. So it doesn't get all ringy when you pull it. There we go. Nice and fit. Once that's done, glue the end of the ribbon and push it in. Nice and fitting. And that's where you connect both of the rings together. Repeat this process with all the other ribbons and it should be fitting tight. And done. Now that we're done making our ribbons all pretty, we're grabbing our hanger to attach the rings to it. So it'll be in this position, as I showed you from before, where it's an inverted triangle, or it looks like grapes. Repeat the process by using the ribbon and attach all the five rings onto it. So let's do it. And that's the last ribbon. Just wanna press it in place. And we're done. Here it is, our DIY customized hanger based on your preference. You can use any kind of ribbon, any kind of style, do whatever it takes. Well, thank you so much for watching another episode at DIY over at Her.TV. Tag us, like us, follow us on Instagram, it's Her.TV. Show us your creation and I'll catch you guys soon. See ya!